Hi, I'm Leila Imamovic from DTU System Biology and I'm going to present you today our work done in uh, Zomer Lab, uh, published recently in Science Translational Medicine. Uh, in our group we focus on um, exploring the side effect of uh, resistance development in order to optimize treatment strategies. Antibiotics are necessary to fight infectious diseases caused by bacteria. However, each time we use antibiotics, uh, we also risk that uh, bacteria will develop resistance to that antibiotics. When this happens, uh, this antibiotic will become ineffective. Uh, what is observed uh, during this process of resistance development to antibiotics is that um, there is a side effect. Uh, basically, this means that uh, bacteria can also change their uh, susceptibilities to other antibiotics and this means they can also become more sensitive uh, to other uh, unrelated drugs. Uh, this effect is called collateral sensitivity and in our study uh, we explored this effect in uh, one bacteria called E. coli. Uh, this is a gram-negative bacteria that uh, can be commercial but it's also, it can also be highly pathogenic uh, strain. So basically what we did is uh, evolve resistance in this bacteria to 23 different antibiotics. All these antibiotics are clinically relevant and we observed that each time resistance develops uh, that bacteria can also uh, respond negatively to other drugs, meaning that it becomes collaterally sensitive to other drugs. So uh, then we thought how we can use this uh, side effect, this negative side effect, to uh, improve the treatment, uh, the treatment outcomes. And the simple model is actually, simple uh, principle is to use uh, this uh, collateral sensitivity in order to switch the drugs uh, based on that. I'm going to explain to you this in a simple two drugs model uh, where we have uh, drug A and drug B. A resistance to drug A will lead to side effect or collateral sensitivity to drug B and uh, vice versa. So if we start treatment with drug A, all the bacteria will become sensitive. However, during the course of treatment, bacteria uh, will be exposed to drug A and then will acquire resistance to this drug. While bacteria are acquiring resistance, they are also becoming more sensitive to drug B or collaterally sensitive to drug B. Eventually, when, become, when the drug A becomes uh, ineffective, we can switch our treatment to drug B and target uh, selectively the resistant cells. After some time, uh, when bacteria also develop resistance uh, to drug B, we can switch again our treatment to drug A. In this way, uh, we can always selectively target resistance, but we can also each time reintroduce the drug that we are using, and therefore we can increase the life cycles of these drugs as well. Uh, and in our, uh, in our experiment, we use 23 drugs, and each time when we look at how many cycles we have with these drugs, uh, we observe that uh, there is a, a huge number of cycles. So if we take into account that we can do two drug cycles, three or four, we identify more than 200 uh, collateral sensitivity cycles. Uh, we are very excited about uh, our treatment strategy because we hope it can be applied uh, to treatment of infectious diseases, uh, especially chronic uh, diseases such as cystic fibrosis. Moreover, we also hope that this strategy can also be applied in virus treatment or uh, cancer chemotherapy because collateral sensitivity is not only observed in bacteria but also in virus and cancer as well.